In today's video, I will show you a new feature in Looker Studio buttons that, that have been recently released. To add a button, I need to press add a control and then click button. There are three button types navigation, report actions and filter. Let's try all of them. First of all, navigation. I will need to click insert link. Here I can paste a link to a third party website or select a page. Let's select a page. You can notice the drop down menu where we can select a dynamic page link, first, previous, next, last or specific page with a particular title. I will select the next page. Uh, then rename button text and enable in view mode. And this is how navigation between pages will look like. Uh, let's explore other button actions. I copy and paste uh, the button to duplicate the one below and select report actions radio button. From the drop down list below I can select one of four actions, invite people, get the report link, download report or reset filter. Uh, by the way, all of these report sections are available here, uh, but uh, for the end user it might be more convenient to use them on a report canvas for uh, instance uh, when the navigation header of the report is hidden. I will enable invite people action and rename the button. Let's check how it looks in the view mode. You see the standard share menu pop up. Let's add additional report actions the same way, but I will fast forward here. Now we can check other buttons as download report, uh, copy the report view and also reset filters. Uh, the third and the most important button type is the filter action that has been added to the latest release. I will show you how it works as well. It is called a preset filter and what it does it creates a boolean value true or false and filters the chart accordingly. The best way to show an example. Uh, by default it always shows an error before you specify the boolean value. And let's do it now. I click create a field and will be using a contains text formula. And the first argument will be field and the, the second one the filter in condition. In my case it will be device category and mobile filter to check only mobile data. Uh, let's press apply and rename button. Enable uh, the view mode and we'll see how it will apply to the chart. You see that button is working. Once I click on a button, you see that button text becomes bold. If I click again, filter remove. I will create additional filter for desktop users as well. I'm duplicating the previous filter and I'm data condition. Also rename the button. Now we have two filter buttons. Let's explore how they work together. When I click on mobile filter, it's filtering our table. But if I enable desktop filter as well, as the table don't show any data uh, because we don't have records that fits our conditions. Uh, now reset button is really useful to remove all the filters and at once. Uh, let's again click a mobile filter. What if I want uh, when I click on a desktop filter, the mobile filter will be unselected. It is possible to do now. Uh, let's jump back into edit mode and assign button filter group to both of our filters to one. It is here from the select from the drop down list for mobile and for desktop. Now let's enable again the view mode and try to use filters. What you see when I select mobile filter, it shows only mobile data. When I apply desktop filter, mobile filter is automatically unselected. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Looker Studio and if you need help with Looker Studio, check the links in the description below.